Dr. Vince Balanzi, and I'm glad you're joining me again. I want to talk about a study that they just did in Brazil. It was a simple test, basically they call it a sitting test. They have people at varying ages get in a, into a sitting position on, onto the floor and then have them get back up. And they, they had a way that they judged how many points they got for uh, ease of getting up, how much they had to perhaps put a hand more than one hand down or a hand on a leg or something like that. And in a sense, it's a pretty simple test to indicate how physically fit you are. Because if you haven't tried it for a while, you may find that, especially if you haven't been exercising, that it is a little hard to get up and down. And in training people, sometimes I've made that their, at least some of their initial exercises, is to simply get up and get down because they've lost that ability. We find that as people age, the first thing they lose is balance. And if you should do different tests to see if you can balance. You can, you can stand on one leg, you can do it with your eyes open, you can do it with your eyes closed, you can actually tilt your head back or, or move your head and, and challenge the different ways that you balance because you have proprioception or the feedback from your foot or, or the muscles in the, in the chain. You have your eyesight, so you take a reference on, on the horizon or, or or something in a room, and you've got your inner ear, which has the semicircular canals that, that have the ability to actually control your balance and give you the feedback. If you put all three of those systems together, you're, you're very stable, you can move very well. But especially as people get older and, and they aren't exercising as much and are, are not challenging their balance, it's almost like they lose it or they become dependent on one thing or another. And that, that can be the beginning of the end for many people because uh, a falls can cause a lot of injuries, especially hip fractures. And that, believe it or not, has, has been considered as a, a reason for their mortality, for, for causing death, because they, they can't be mobile anymore. So back to the sitting test, a simple test actually correlated very well to mortality. In other words, people that are able to get up and down and uh, facilitate that without much trouble, they seem to have more longevity. And the people that were struggling it was, it was a pretty sound indicator of the fact that they were getting close to mortality or, or close to the, to the end of life because uh, their body is not in as good a health or as good a shape. So uh, although you can use it as an exercise, again, it's an indicator. It's not just about living longer, though. It's about living with quality as well. And if you're not physically fit in, in the way that your physiology works, uh, again, this is one little indicating exercise you can do, but if you're not doing physical activity every day, your biological systems are literally shutting down and you are letting yourself age because one of the premier theories of aging is called the free radical theory. So we, we believe that free radicals, do we know they do damage to tissue, we believe they are in a sense the basis or the reason for aging. And you make your major antioxidants, you can eat berries and other foods and get some antioxidants. You can take more vitamin C and recharge your antioxidants. But the best antioxidants you have, you make yourself. Glutathione being one of the major ones, SOD. You've got a number of things your body makes. And it's when you exercise that you actually produce your largest amount of these antioxidants. So even though you produce some free radicals during more intense exercise, you also create the antioxidants to take care of them. But also these antioxidants can be used for other things in your health to control the free radicals that need to be not absent but under control. So in, for a simple test it, it really does have a lot of scientific basis behind it because again if you can't simply get up and down from the floor it's a pretty good indicator that you're not as physically fit as, as we'd like you to be and it's also a good indicator that your health is either failed or failing. So it goes the other way as well. If you start to get more physically active, you can bring these biological systems back online. You can have your body work better again. And one of the major things we have to worry about with people is what's called the toxic body burden. Basically, your body builds up its own waste products and things from the environment, and you end up with a, a body burden or a load your body can't handle. That system that you have in place to get these things back out of the body does not function if you're not physically active. It, it tries, but you're just not going to have the good circulation. You're not going to have your organs working really well. So if you want not only longevity, but quality of life, consider the fact that you have to be more physically active in many cases.
And you might even look up this test. It's, it's a Brazilian test, but it's, uh, it's made the news. It was recent research. How easy is it for you to get up and down from the floor? How much assistance do you need? Do you need somebody else to help you? Again, it's a pretty good indicator of where you stand. So this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Thanks for listening. Stay healthy.